Thank you for viewing this Any Excuse for a Chemistry Experiment video on chemical cells aimed at teachers used by anyone. I'm Scott Munro. In this video, I'll demonstrate how potential difference is generated in a chemical cell. This should be a class practical. Students will need to use their experimenting skills and be able to record data. It'll fit into your scheme of work at Key Stage 3 in the metals and non-metals topic, at Key Stage 4 in the energy changes topic in cells and batteries section. As a starter exercise, I would ask my students to describe the structure of metal. Here's a suggested technician's list for this experiment. A voltmeter, three leads, four crocodile clips, two splints, these are optional, some sodium chloride solution, two 100ml beakers and various metal strips. Let's start with a chemical cell. Connect a pair of leads to the voltmeter, the crocodile clips to the other end. I use a splint to ensure the electrodes are kept apart during the experiment. Pick one of the metal strips. I've chosen copper. Clip it onto the lead from the positive terminal. Pick a different metal strip. I've chosen zinc here. Clip it to the lead from the negative terminal. Dip the electrodes into the sodium chloride solution and note the voltage generated. Swap the metal strips around. The zinc on the positive terminal and the copper on the negative terminal. Note the voltage generated. You should see that the voltage value is the same, but it is negative this time. If electrons flow from the negative terminal through the voltmeter and to the positive terminal, you'll get a positive reading. Electrons can't travel through the electrolyte, so they travel through the circuit. The more reactive metal loses electrons, and the less reactive metal gains those electrons. If the more reactive metal is on the negative terminal, the voltage will be positive. If the more reactive metal is on the positive terminal, the voltage will be negative. Return the copper electrode to the positive lead. Return your zinc strip to the container and replace it with a magnesium strip. You should observe that the voltage is higher. The greater the difference in reactivity, the larger the voltage. Now we will link two cells together in a series to form a battery. Link the positive terminal to the copper strip. A lead from the magnesium is linked to the copper strip in the next cell. A magnesium strip is added to the second cell and a lead returns to the negative terminal. Put both pairs of metal electrodes into separate beakers of sodium chloride electrolyte and note the voltage. There is no cost for chemical consumables as everything is recycled. I hope you found this video useful. Please like it by clicking the thumbs up button, post a comment, subscribe to Any Excuse for a Chemistry Experiment. Lots more videos to come through the academic year. Thank you, Anne. Goodbye.